Another outstanding outing by Oregon State left-hander Cooper Jerpy. Arzeo connection, six plus innings, four hits, one run, a walk, a hit batter, and 11 strikeouts. And Cooper, uh, did you have any difficulty early on with the slider because of the wet baseball? Yeah, I mean, throughout the whole day, it was kind of a, a difficult situation uh, getting delayed early on. And then uh, through, I don't know what inning it was, maybe the fourth inning, we got delayed again. So um, I think it was just repetition and trying to find a feel for it throughout the game. And once we got that going, then it was uh, a solid outing. So you were pretty dominant with two strikes today, both with that elevated fastball kind of seemed to be the, the pitch that got the most swings and misses. Um, is that kind of a go-to for you with two strikes? I heard the Wazikowski talking about the ball sort of rising on hitters. Do you kind of use that to your advantage and, and aim high in the zone late in the count like that for almost anybody? Yeah, for sure. That's one of my uh, bigger weapons, uh, no doubt, is the fastball up uh, late in the count, 0-2, 1-2, whatever it might be. Um, I think anything, to be honest right now, with the consistency I have with, with all three pitches, it's uh, it, it can be all three, but uh, majority of the time it's, it's a fastball up for sure. 39 scouts were here tonight representing 25 different major league teams, and they're, they're here to watch a lot of players, but you're at the top of that list. How difficult is it to put that out of your mind? It's not difficult whatsoever. Um, I come out here, there's 3,000 fans. It might not have been that many today, but or just because of the rain. Uh, I'm not focused on it. I'm just focused on winning ball games. So. What does Beaver Nation mean to you, these fans coming out here on a rainy night like this? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, if there was 50 in here, I, I would be proud of them. You know, I mean, there's hundreds of them. It's, it's, it's awesome to see, especially because of COVID last year, and we were able to see that stuff. And coming out here and be able to pitch under lights with, with this crowd, it's, it's something, something special. So, Coop, what do you do for the rest of the weekend after you have a dominant start like that and you're hanging out in the dugout? Are we talking, like, cookies and coffee? Are we locked in trying to <laughs> pick something from the other team? What, what's the rest of the weekend look like for you? Whatever it has to be, man, whatever I got to do to get the win. I mean, picking, tipping pitches from the other pitcher or something like that. But, um, you know, we, I'm just focused on the next outing, and that will be uh, Arizona down in Tucson. So. You pretty good at that? Do you do you pick up what the opposing pitcher is doing? Maybe maybe tell the hitters. I mean, here and there, at the collegiate level like we are here, it's it's hard. I mean, once in a blue moon, but if you got it, then it's it's pretty cool to see that kind of uh, that play out. And then you you tell the baseball player or the the hitters and uh, go from there. But yeah, no, it doesn't happen too often. But well, you're now tied with Thomas Harrington at Campbell University for the nation's lead in wins with nine, and you're second in the nation in strikeouts. Those numbers mean anything to you? Uh, the wind does, that's for sure. Uh, like I said, I'm just focused on that right now. Um, everything else is just, I mean, it's it's whatever. So, All right, well, really enjoy watching you. Congratulations uh, on another win. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys.